Hello, Dan Murphy here, and it's time for a look at the top ten rotten things of 2010, as depicted by the artists of Portfolio 24. Portfolio 24, here's the front, here's the back, you can imagine what it looks like sideways, waiting to subvert your children at a bookstore or library near you, Portfolio 24. Number one, rotten thing of 2010, the proroguing of Parliament. Luckily, we had the Ignati of Liberals, who were number two rotten thing of 2010. Rotten thing number three, Ann Coulter. News item. By playing the hate speech card, the University of Ottawa stupidly fuels the broom of right-wing pundit Ann Coulter. Number four rotten thing of 2010, hosting the G8 and G20 thingamajigs. Yes, we gave up our civil rights, but downtown Toronto got a lake. Number five rotten thing, the war in Afghanistan. Without reinforcements, we will quickly lose the war. With 40,000 more soldiers, we can lose it very slowly. Number six rotten thing of 2010, the underpants bomber. Who brought along with him, number 6.5 rotten thing, heightened airport security. Number 7 rotten thing of 2010, Canada's growing profile on the world stage. Make that Canada's growing footprint on the world stage. Rotten thing number 8, British Petroleum. Number nine, the increased incursion on personal privacy by the new social media. And here is where I get to say, ubiquitous. 2010 also brought us the iPad, which was not hailed like the second coming. Exactly. And the number ten rotten thing of 2010, the stinking world economy. <laughs> Thanks to MacArthur and Company, and the artists of Portfolio 24 for use of these cartoons. From Dan Murphy and all of us here at the Top 10 Rotten Things of 2010, goodbye and good luck.